Problem number 37 is factor completely. We're still working with these problems. Uh, remember first, before you start trying to look for difference of squares or difference of cubes or anything like that, check if you have a greatest common factor, which we do. 8 and 18, the greatest common factor is 2. So, I'm going to put out the 2 times 4, 8 to the 4th minus 9 b squared. Okay, now <clears throat> check this one to, to see if it has a um, is factorable, which it is. This is a two times it is a minus, so in this is a difference of two squares because these two have perfect square roots. So square root of four, two. A square root to the fourth is square. A square root of nine, three. A square root to b square, b. We also mean those variables are positive. Then from here. We continue, and it says this is 2 times 2a squared minus 3b, 2a squared plus 3b. And the, those are the factors for this one. This one is not factorable, this one is not factorable, so we're done with this problem number 37. Problem number um, 38 is 36s to the fifth power. Minus 25 t to the fourth. So we start by this is s t to the fourth. Okay, it looks like it's going to be um, difference of two squares. However, this one doesn't have any square here, and this one's to the fifth power, and it's in both. So, like I said. All will check if you have greatest common factor, which in this case is S. So we're going to pull out the S. 36 S to the fourth minus 25 T to the fourth. Now that you uh, pull out the, the uh, we, uh, we pulled out the S, will you see this is a perfect difference of two squares. The square root of 36 is 6. The square root of S to the fourth is S squared. A square root of 25 is 5. A square root of t to the fourth, t squared. Then, continue. This is going to be s times s, sorry, 6 s squared minus 5 t squared times 6 x squared plus 5 t squared. And that's the answer because this one is not don't have perfect square root, so we cannot talk about difference of squares. 38. 